Now imagine for a moment what would happen if an earthquake with a magnitude of even 7.5 struck Moscow, Beijing, or even Washington, D.C. Moscow, utterly unprepared for seismic activity, would suffer devastating damage. The Stalin-era skyscrapers, the pride of Soviet architecture, would collapse into massive tombstones, crumbling into concrete rubble. The dome of Kremlin's cathedrals would come crashing down onto the cobblestones with a deafening crack. The metro system would become a mass grave for tens of thousands, its collapsed tunnels burying entire trains. Residential districts would turn into ruins. Panel-built nine-story buildings and standard micro districts from the 1970s and 1980s would collapse, entombing 30 to 40% of their residents beneath the wreckage. Ancient Beijing, despite its earthquake preparedness, would still reel under the weight of a tectonic nightmare. The Forbidden City, the Imperial Palace with its delicate pagodas, would be reduced to thousand-year-old ruins. Modern skyscrapers in the CBD business district would tumble like houses of cards, burying tens of thousands of office workers. The historic Zhongkwansun district, the technological heart of China, would lose hundreds of research laboratories and startups. The residential areas of Chaiyang and Haidian would collapse into heaps of concrete and glass, where hundreds of thousands would perish beneath the rubble. Ruptured gas pipelines would ignite firestorms, incinerating entire city blocks. Washington, the capital of our American democracy, like Moscow, is unprepared for serious seismic activity. Residential neighborhoods would collapse, burying thousands. The dome of the Capitol, the symbol of American statehood, would crack and partially collapse. The White House, though reinforced with armored structures, would also sustain severe damage. The Lincoln and Washington memorials would be reduced to mangled sculptural remnants, and the Pentagon's underground tunnels would become a mass grave for hundreds of military personnel.